Hi everyone, my name is Mary and welcome back to Queen Ink. Today on Saturday Granny, we are going to be doing this granny square that you see in front of you. It is a textured granny square. We actually had done this in another video without the texturing. So this time we're going to be doing texturing with it. Now how this is going to work, it is going to be a two row repeat. So you will start with the, a small little granny square down here at the bottom and then you will start your texturing on the third row and then on the back you will not do any texturing. This will be your wrong side and then when you come back around you'll do your texturing again and I'll show you how to do that and it will grow. So like on the first row you have two little bumps of textures then it will grow to four bumps and so it looks like it grows every four bumps. And I will show you how all of this works as we get closer to each of the rows. Alrighty, so let's get into this video. Alrighty, so the tools that you are going to be needing are, I'm gonna be using an H 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You're gonna need a pair of scissors to cut your strings and you're gonna need a yarn needle so that way you can sew in all your strings. Now the yarn that you are going to be needing is as follows. You can use whatever colors you would like. I'm using three because this is going to be more for spring. This is Red Heart and this was called Bright Yellow but it turned into a pale yellow. So I'm gonna be using that one and then the next color I'm gonna be using is going to be a green color. This is also Red Heart and this was called Minty. The next color I'm going to be using is going to be this pink one. Now this one is not Red Heart, this is Yarnspirations, Karen Simply Soft. And this one was six ounces and 170.1 grams. And the color for this one is called Soft Pink. Alrighty, so you are going to start with the Soft Pink. So let's get into the tutorial. Alrighty, so in order to start the Granny Square texture, you're gonna start with a slip knot. And if you're wondering why my pattern on the table is different, it's because I'm actually out in my own living room. Um, I felt it was a little quieter out here and you're not going to hear the mowers. Okay, so once you have your slip knot, go ahead and put it onto your hook. And we're going to start with a granny square, two rows. In order to start a granny square, you're going to make a chain of four. So you're going to yarn over and pull through, pull up a little bit on that loop. That's two, three, and four. And then you're going to go back into that very first chain that you made and you're going to make a slip stitch. Grab your working yarn, pull through, and pull through. And to keep that circle going, um, kind of messed up on that one, sorry. So you will go back into that very first chain that you made from the very beginning and you'll make a slip stitch. So go into that chain, grab your working yarn and pull through. I normally like to hold my fingers down on the chain so I can keep that uh, opening, pull through and pull through. And then there you have your opening circle. Okay, so you're gonna chain one, go back into that circle for three double crochets. One, and this is going to be row number one, two, and three. Okay, and then I'm going to chain two, and then you're going to go back into that circle for three more double crochets. So you're going to yarn over, go into the circle, grab your working yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. What we're essentially doing is we're going to make four sides and the chain twos are going to be your sides. So there is our very first side right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the other three sides and all you do is you just chain two, put three double crochets and all into that circle and I will be back in just a few minutes. Alrighty, so we are back. So you should have made 
three more double crochets, chain two and three more double crochets to make three sides to make your fourth and final um, corner. You're just going to chain two and back into that very first double crochet that you made from the very beginning, you're going to make a slip stitch and that will close off your granny square and you will have your four corners. And then you're going to grab your scissors, make sure you have your yellow yarn because we're going to change to the yellow for row number two. Cut your yarn, yarn over and pull through and tighten. Now I'm going to go back into this corner right here. You can go into any of the corners if you would like to um, connect your yellow yarn. But I'm just going to go right back into this corner, put my yarn onto my hook, pull through, and I'm going to tie on. Alrighty, so this will be the second row for our little granny square. And this one is going to be very easy. Put your hook back into that spacing, pull up a loop, and you're going to chain one. And then you're going to go back into this chain two for three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. And you're going to do that into every single um, corner that you see right here where my fingers are. So that's one double crochet. There's two and there's three. Now if you essentially cannot get your next three double crochets in there, grab your three double crochets you just made and pull them so you can get back into that spacing. Now you're gonna chain two and you're gonna go back into that spacing for three more double crochets. And we have to make four more corners again. Two and three. Alrighty, so when you get to your next corner, you're going to skip over the three double crochets from row number one. And so what I do is I yarn over, I go straight into that spacing, grab my working yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. And I just hit my scissors and move them off to the side. So in this corner, again, you're just going to put three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets and that will make your second corner. And three. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do is I am going to make the other two corners and I will meet you back at the very beginning. Um, so I'll meet you right back here. Okay, be back shortly. Alrighty, when you have made it back to the very beginning, all you're gonna do is find that very first double cro crochet from the beginning of the round and slip stitch right into it. Put your hook in there, grab your working yarn, pull through and pull through. And again, we're going to cut off and this time we're going to change to green. Alrighty, so this is how the pattern is going to work. You're going to be working only on two of the sides of this little granny square and you're going to skip the other two sides because we're going to be doing the sideways granny square just as a texture. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to work on this side so that way I can crochet this into my work and get it out of the way. So take your hook, put it into this corner right here that you're going to work into. Grab your green yarn, put it onto your hook, and tie on. And we are working now on round number three. Put your hook back into your spacing, grab your yarn, pull up a loop, and chain one. And now what you're going to do is you're going to put three double crochets all into that spacing. Now, this is going to be an odd row, so every odd row you will put three double crochets into the very beginning. And every even row you will only put one double crochet. And since we are starting round number three, you will not be texturing because you do not have anything to texture down here. Okay. 
Alrighty, so when you have your three double crochets, I'm gonna move my camera up a little bit. You're gonna go into your next spacing and we are going to start the texturing. So go, uh, so yarn over, go into that spacing for your very first double crochet. Okay, and now we're going to do something called a treble crochet. So what you're going to do is here, I'll move the yarn out of the way so you can see this a little better. You're going to actually yarn over twice. So you're gonna yarn over once and yarn over again. Then you're gonna come down here and you're gonna find on the very first row that we did this middle double crochet and you're gonna go under it just like this, okay? And then you're gonna hold onto it, grab your working yarn and pull up a loop just like this. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, Oop. yarn over and pull through two. And that is where you're gonna get your texturing. Then you're gonna move that treble crochet out of the way and put a double crochet back into that spacing because we still want three double crochet, excuse me, we still want three stitches into the spacing. There is your very first texturing. And then of course into the corner and every row from here on out in that chain two space, you will always put three double crochets chain two and three double crochets that's every round excuse me that's every row so the corners will not ever change and these corners help the granny square keep growing and growing and growing one more and there we go. Alrighty, so now what you're going to do is you're gonna do this texturing one more time because we have three double crochets from round number one. So you're gonna put one double crochet into that spacing. And you're going to do a treble crochet now. Yarn over once, yarn over a second time. So that way you have three loops on your hook find that middle double crochet right down here if you have to you can pull your stitches apart like this and then go under that double crochet from round number one and I like to turn my work sideways so it's easier for me to do uh, to finish off my treble crochet then you're gonna grab your working yarn pull up a loop then you're gonna yarn over let me get that granny square out of the way yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two and yarn over and pull through two and you'll do that three times then you go back into that spacing for a double crochet when you get to the end of the round into the very next spacing you're just going to put three double crochets all into that spacing One, two and three and this will finish off round number three now I'm not going to cut off because we're still going to use the green and then we're going to be working on the back side alrighty so now we are going to be working on round number four and this is going to be the wrong side of your work so what you're going to do is you're going to chain one turn your work now because this is an odd row, you're only going to put one double crochet into that double crochet from the previous round. Okay, then you're going to go into that spacing and you're just going to put three double crochets. There is no texturing on the back so you don't need to worry. Okay, so now for this round, all you're going to do is into every space that you see, you're going to put three double crochets, and don't forget, the corners are always gonna be three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. I'm going to finish off round number five, and I will be back shortly. Alrighty, so when you have made it all the way around, and you get back to your three double crochets, you're going to find your very last double crochet from the previous round, Try and turn it towards you so you can see that V stitch and just put one double crochet into that stitch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the green and I'm going to change to pink now. Ok, 
Okay, and now we'll be working on the textured side. And this will be row number six. Go ahead and put your hook back into that stitch and connect your pink yarn. All right, so from here on out, now that we have an established um, textured row, we're gonna be doing another textured row. So this is how I've done it. Put your hook back into your stitch, grab your working yarn, pull up a loop, and chain one. Now we're not gonna be working into that actual stitch, we're gonna be working into the actual spacing. But this is your anchor right here. And so when you get back around to this side, you are also gonna want an anchor on that double crochet right there from the previous round. So you'll put your last double crochet in there. And I'll show you once we get to that, that spot. <clears throat> so now you're gonna yarn over, go into that spacing for a double crochet. Now, because we made a new spacing, you guessed it, we're now gonna be doing a texturing from the round below us. And so you're going to yarn over once, yarn over twice, go under that double crochet right here from the previous round. Oh, it's always the one in the middle. Turn your work, grab your working yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, turn your work back towards you, pull that treble crochet out of the way, and put a double crochet back into that spacing. And there is your texture right there. And because we're working on an even row, even rows are textured, odd rows are non-textured. Okay, so I think at this point we'll do one more. I think at this point you'll under you'll start to understand um, how this texturing works and how to grow your work as you are texturing. So, um, so, so pretty much at this point, you should understand how to start making these little textures. So when you're on an odd row, you will have a new um, double crochet right here, three double crochets and a new texture bump is what I like to call it. So this one, you already have one, so now you have to make one. And that will happen on every even row. So yarn over twice, go under your texture bump from the, from the row below you. I like to turn my work, grab my working yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through, move my texture bump out of the way so I can get into that spacing for my last double crochet. And that is how it starts to look. And it looks really, really pretty. It starts to blend into the color. And just like we did before in the very beginning right here where we had to make a new texture bump, we're gonna do this over here as well. So you go into that spacing for your first double crochet then I yarn over, and then I yarn over. I find the third, the middle double crochet from the row below me. So you have one, two, and three, and this middle one is the one I just wanna go right under. As you can see, my hook is right underneath it. And then I'm going to yarn over and pull through, and then I'm going to yarn over and pull through the two stitches yarn over and pull through the other two stitches and yarn over and pull through the last two stitches pull out of the way double crochet into that spacing i think at this point you have an idea of how to do the texturing so i'm going to let you go and do the rest of this so remember you're going to be doing a texture on this one texture and then when i come back i'll show you how to finish off the row okay so i will be back shortly Alrighty, so when you have made your other two texture bumps, I'm going to show you how to make the last texture bump. So you're going to start off putting a double crochet right into that spacing. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over twice, once, 
and twice, go under the middle double crochet right underneath us, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. I split my yarn, yarn over and pull through two. Pull this aside so you can get to your double crochet from the end and put that double crochet right into that um, right into that double that last double crochet that way we can have an anchor okay and that is how you will finish off um, every even row at the end okay and now that you're on row number six let's make sure one two three four five Yep, row, oh, no, I'm sorry, that was row number five. And the other way you can also count these, I got a little confused there, is on the back. So one, two, three, four, and five. So I apologize for that, it's every odd row you will do textures, and every even row you will work on the wrong side of your work. So you're gonna chain one, turn your work, and since we did three double crochets on our even rows, on our odd row, which is row number seven, you're just gonna put one double crochet into that double crochet from the previous round. And then every spacing you see, you're just gonna put three double crochets, no texturing on the back or wrong side of your work. I'm gonna finish row number seven and I will meet you back at the very beginning right here. Okay, so be back shortly. Alrighty, so when you have made it all the way around, you will find that last double crochet from the previous round and put one double crochet into it, just like that. And then you'll cut off, change colors to yellow. Okay, so I think at this point you have a pretty good idea on how to grow your textured granny square. I also made a smaller one, so I'll back out my camera. So here is a smaller version, and I did this one in 4.25, and as you can see it looks really good, so you can make it as tight as you'd like it. or um, this one, which is in the 5.5 millimeter hook, you can make a really larger one. So I think at this point, what I'm going to do is um, we are going. I'm going to show you how to um, finish off this granny square. I know this is a little tiny one, but I figured I would just show you really quickly what it looks like. So I'm sure you figured out that on the next row, which would be round number eight you're gonna be doing texture bumps, okay? But on round number eight, for us, since we're going to finish off, we are now, because I wanna do it in the yellow, so that way it looks really pretty and we can finish it off, okay? So here we go. So for round number eight, go ahead and connect your yellow yarn. And You're gonna put your hook into that stitch, yarn over and pull through and chain one. And then what we're going to do is, is we're gonna go into the spacing for three double crochets, no texturing whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm gonna put three double crochets into each of these spacings until I get all the way back around to this side right here. And then I will show you what to do next. Also, if you made it this far into the video, don't forget to scroll down, hit that like button so I know you're enjoying this video. And if you like what you see and wanna see more, don't forget to also hit that subscribe button. Alrighty, so I will meet you back at the other side. I'll meet you right here. Okay, I'll be back shortly. Okay, so when you have made it back around, what you're going to do now 
is once you get into this wonderful spacing, you're going to put three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. And what we're essentially going to be doing is we're going to turn the corner because we're going to be working on the corner now. And three double crochets. And there we go. Okay. So there you go. So now what we're going to be doing, so pretty much what you're going to be doing is you're now going to start making the full granny square all the way around. And you're going to make your four corners. So we just made two corners and now we have to make two more corners. So once you have turned your granny square, and let's say you have more of these, um, what you're going to do is, nope, apologize. You're gonna go into the spacing right here. So pretend like these are three double crochets that you have to skip over, and you're gonna go right into this one. Because essentially what we ended up doing was putting three double crochets into this section right here. So we want to skip this row and go into the next row for three double crochets. So if you have more of these rows, so I'm gonna put this off to the side. So let's say you're working on the side of your work right here. So let's say you turn the corner and you put three double crochets. Well, this one, I skipped the pink row and I went into the next green row, which is this one right here. And then I skipped the next green textured row and went into the yellow one, okay? So you'll skip every other row until you get to the actual granny square. And you'll do that on the other side as well. This one's a little easier because you actually have spacings that you can actually go into, okay? So hopefully that makes a little more sense because we didn't really have very many spacings on one side. So skipping rows is what you're going to do. So now we're going to go into this spacing right here. We're not going to skip it. If I had more rows, um, I would show you that better. I just didn't want this video to be too long and you get bored. Okay, go into the next spacing for three double crochets. And when you get into the corner, that is where you're going to do three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. So I'm going to put three double crochets, chain two in here. I'm going to put three double crochets and three double crochets. I'll meet you back right here on this end. All right, when you have put in your three double crochets across and you've made it to another side, this is what I was talking about. So now I have a spacing here and a spacing here I can go into. So you're going to just put three double crochets into those spacings. One side is always going to be a little bit easier to finish off than the other side. Because one side is always going to have spacings and the other side you'll be skipping rows. Oh, where is that side? Here it is. So on this side right here, you'll always be skipping rows. And then when you come back around to this side, you will have your spacings. Okay, so when you have come to the very end right here where we put our three double crochets in, you're gonna put three double crochets and a chain two, and then we're going to slip stitch. Apologies, my yarn is just pulling today, like it always does. Okay, so now you're gonna chain two, and you're gonna find that first double crochet from the round and put a slip stitch into it. Now if you are utilizing this, pull through and pull through, as a, let's say you wanted to make a blanket out of this, 
What I would suggest doing is putting single crochets all the way around the square so it'll be a little easier to connect it. Um, if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. I'm actually going to finish it off right here. We're going to grab our scissors and cut. So like I was saying, you can actually put single crochets all the way around your granny square if you want to make this into a really cool blanket. And then that way it'll be a little easier to connect your squares. If you don't want to, you don't have to because you can still connect the chains as well. And I've done that multiple times. So this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was Saturday Granny Textured Granny Square. I hope you enjoyed this. This one was actually a smaller one and a quicker one I wanted to show you how to do versus this one that has a lot of different rows. And this is the one where I did not single crochet around it. I did actually make this. This was the second one that I had made in the 5.5 millimeter hook as you can see I just shortened it so that way the video wouldn't be so long so you can make them pretty big a little bit smaller with a hook and you can make even a smaller one as well I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to scroll down hit that like button so I know that you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more tutorials such as this one and others I'm gonna do in the future and until next time, everyone, bye-bye, and have a wonderful day.